we're just two guys with one mission, and we've chosen to accept it for some reason. It's time to tell them what we mean, what we say. Episode three. Technically three. <laughs> we just watched The Beast in Heat, which is from 1977, and I'm assuming it's an Italian film. It looked Italian. That was dubbed in uh, English. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. And is a Nazi exploitation film. Yeah. Well, it's two films. You think it's two films? Well, because the exploitation bits, up until the very, very end, have absolutely no bearing on the rest of the film. The rest of the film is just the rebels fighting Nazis. And then they just kind of... Yeah, it definitely seems like it's um, it's like a normal Italian village resists the Nazis. Yeah. Where they just added on, like, gruesome <laughs> torture. Yeah, in the village there just happens to be a building where they do wicked sex torture and create some sort of... Yeah, it, I wouldn't say it was a hard watch... But it's a bit quite uncomfortable. But mostly it was just confusing. Yeah, confusing and boring. So I made uh, some notes. So okay. should, we go, should we go through the We plot? can try and go through those, yeah. Okay. So the film opens and there's a Nazi scientist lady. Mm, sexy. Um, and she's pretty good looking lady. She's very good looking She's lady. a good looking lady. And she's made some kind of horny monkey man. Yeah. Which they keep referring to as like genetically creating the master race. Yeah. Doesn't look that. But way. doesn't appear. Appears to be just um, some a horny sex monkey, man. monkey man. Yeah, it's like a <laughs> horny monkey man. And to demonstrate the horny monkey man, they like throw a, ha- a naked woman in there, and it's... then she basically is assaulted to death. Yes, and, um, for an uncomfortably long for an, time. It's a very uncomfortably long time. <laughs> Whilst and it's being then, stared at by and then the bi- by Nazi scientists. By Nazi scientists. Um, Scientists in quotation marks. <laughs> and then she humiliates a Nazi stormtrooper. Yes. For getting aroused by this. Yes. And then it turns out she's um, she's a lesbian. She's a lesbian. So she um, and all the girls who are lesbians are like they they kind of enjoy seeing violence. Yeah. I, I don't really. Yeah. I kind of feel like sex, um, sex violence. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's a real thing. <laughs> um, I'm assuming I'm, it's not. I'm not a lesbian, so I can't really. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm going to err on the side of this is some perverse man's fantasy. Yes. That all uh, lesbians enjoy seeing sexual violence. Yes. I don't really know, but this is also evidence of why I think it might be an Italian production. <laughs> Yeah. So what happens after that? So then <laughs> some guys, one of which who looks like uh, Italian Sean, Sean Bean, Sean Bean Mario uh, Sean blows Bean. up a bridge, and he's part of the resistance. Yes. And he can't he's kill in, people. He's incapable of killing. He's incapable of killing. So he says. So he lets the train full of <laughs> Nazi Nazis. stormtroopers go over the bridge before blowing the bridge Yeah. <laughs> now, news of the uh, bridge gets sent to this Nazi general who is having uh, an affair with a girl from the local village. And then his boss finds out that the bridge has blown up, and so the general (laughs) goes to the village... Salutes (laughs) Salutes over the phone. Yeah, he salutes over the phone. (laughs) So he goes to the local village and starts rounding people up... Yep. um, Oh, God. uh, ...as punishment, which (laughs) which involves... um, um, the murder of a baby <laughs> in the, a comical fashion it's well it's just so out of left field it's like it's the one thing I wasn't expecting I was expecting nudity yes of which there's a lot both male and female nudity there's yeah. a lot of cocks and balls and, and lots breasts lots of pubes and lots of pubic hairs there's a lot of nudity in this movie it's felt balanced the amount of nudity I was yeah. not expecting um, 
a baby to be thrown in the air and shot <laughs> machine guns by Nazis. Now, it was at this point in the story that I started to think that maybe the Nazis were the bad guys. Yeah, they weren't really portrayed as that before. I didn't really get from it from the, from, from, the, uh, from, from the sexy... Uh, sexy scientist. Sexy scientist <laughs> monkey man creator. <laughs> I mean, I had an inkling back then that yeah. maybe she was the bad guy. And also, you know... That's he's kind of our bad guys. I yeah, guess. like I mean, from school, from, I remember from, them being the bad guys, but I wasn't I sure about the movie, you know, because times have changed now. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. know, this statement is ironic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know there are people who are trying to tell us there are bad people on both sides, but in this particular film, it definitely seems like it's a bit of a one-way street. It was a bit of a one-way street, and the Nazis are the bad guys. They are, they make monkey men. They kidnap people and they murder babies. Yeah. And um, if that's how Nazis are, then fuck them. Yeah, fuck them. Fuck, fuck them. Oh, fucking horrible can't say with, right? <laughs> so it turns out the girl who, from the village who is sleeping with the general is a spy for the resistance. Yes. And she finds out that the Nazi scientist lady, who's called Dr. Crash. Dr. Dr. Crash. We should, um, we should start calling her by her name. Is gone to help the general... Like, sort out the resistance problem. But someone has betrayed the resistance. Yeah. So, during the Nazis' uh, continual attacks on the local village, some Nazi ends up shooting a lady in her vagina. It's... Yeah. We don't know why. It's kind of super it's gross. Just, it's just really disgusting. <laughs> it's really gross. And there's a subplot where the resistance, their radio doesn't work right, and they keep talking about it, but they don't really do much about it. Oh, the one who gets shot in the... It's because they were hiding one of the resistance men. Yes, they were... Who was trying to... He's there He was talking... trying to escape. He was trying to take provisions, right? From... Yeah. And, but then, because the Nazis were at the door, he was going to leave and give himself up. But instead of letting him do that, his, I want to say, mum and yeah, sister mom. whack him over the head with a pan and stuff him in a cupboard. Yeah. Then, Nazis come in, start having a bit of a rapey time with the, uh, I want to say, sister of well, him. Well, it's like a, it's, yeah, it's like... And uh, then he gets discovered, and that's when the general decides to shoot her in the... Didn't he jump area. out to defend his sister? Yes. And that's how he's that's how discovered. That's how, yeah. And then because he's discovered... It's like, oh, well, ooh, if you'd have just told us in the first place, maybe I wouldn't shoot you. With the, I uh... also don't remember who that guy was. I don't remember mm, his name. No. So they take all the resistance men they found back to the, to the castle, and Dr. Crash, this evil mm. Nazi scientist lady, tortures some men with her breasts. Yes. That's, I don't really understand quite why. She thinks she's going to make them talk by showing them her breasts yes. and fleeting them. Yeah, and then some guy starts yelling, and so she castrates him? Yes, with a dagger. Not that that's shown. Of all the things that we're not shown in this film... Yeah, it wasn't that's shown. That's about all it we're not shown. It didn't show the castration. <laughs> Which is weird, because what we do see is uh, electrodes on the labia of the labia. Well, let's get to that. We're about to come to that bit. Oh, okay. But with the, the comes a very important <laughs> point after the castration <laughs> is it turns out the person who betrayed the resistance was someone I don't remember seeing throughout the entire movie. Mm. It was it was bizarre. It was like... Um, um, Ah, and I betrayed I betrayed them, and I'm like, well, who are you? Who the fuck are you? Yeah. <laughs> who are you? Where did you come from, and who are you? He's like, oh, nah, I'll, I'll split the money with you if you want to come run away with me. And I'm like, but who are <laughs> you? <laughs> <laughs> Who's this other guy? Yeah. It was very confusing. Anyway, then the Nazis kill her. Yes. So then the Nazis start rolling into town to a location where the resistance are holed up and the, the resistance fights back and then pretty much everyone dies. Yes. Yes. It's a bloodbath. It is. And it's, it's with very little and blood. It, and it's intercut with a lot of shots that either were stock footage or taken from another film, we think. Like yeah, all the, sh all the shots where there's more than like two Nazis. We've got like truckloads of them and tanks and stuff like that. It's very oddly intercut, and it's just either, well, either just like a completely the, different film stock, or it's mixed to from the another film. The confusion of the overall work. Yes, <laughs> <Should we put laughs> well, well, if you want to call it work, it's just, yeah. well, <laughs> people did work on it. Yeah. So then, after the big battle, there's an extended uh, Nazi torture scene where the horny monkey man starts ripping off and eating some poor girl's pubic hair. Yep. 
There's the um, aforementioned electrodes on the labia. Yeah, which and, um, and a hot bucket full of rats. Yeah, a hot bucket full of rats. The old Fast and Furious trick. Uh, a man who's both simultaneously being dunked in water and whipped. <laughs> Although he very rarely touches the water. It's for thing, but they held above it quite a lot. Yeah. I didn't really understand. I guess they were just doing it for kicks. Yeah. There's a woman attached to what looks like one of those uh, knife throwing wheels that you yeah, get in the yeah, circus. Yeah. Like <laughs> and then there's and then one of the guys going, Ah, oh, I work for the resistance. Yeah. Don't torture them, it's just me. And then but that doesn't stop the that torture. That doesn't stop them at all, no. But then with that information the Nazis go to the priest. Yes. And the priest is like uh, is actually very civil with the Nazis and the Nazis are very civil with the priest. There's actually a lot of hints early on where they consider the, the Germans God's chosen people. Yeah. So I imagine is, there's yes. a confliction about the Nazis going into a church and like causing a ruckus. Yeah. But then the priest gets pissed off and starts punching Nazis. Yeah, he starts kicking ass. Badass priest. And then Sean Bean comes in. Yes. And then helps from starts, somewhere. Uh, yeah, <laughs> from somewhere. Um, he starts punch, punching Nazis too. Yeah. And then... But he gets a whooping. He does get a whooping and then he's something and then he's left and for a Nazi to kill. But the Nazi uh, sees yes. the cross Yeah. and then decides, oh, I'm not going to kill him. I'm just Not in a church. I'm just going to shoot very, very close yeah, to him I'm on a stone floor. Yeah, shoot so they hear the gunshot so I can go, wow, well, <laughs> well, I shot I, sort I, of I, where I, he was. I, I definitely shot at him. <laughs> so not only are Nazis are awful human beings, they're also mm. lazy. Mm. I'm detecting like a very distinct anti-fascist uh, regime in in this movie. Yeah. Someone, someone better uh, write um, an opinion in some <laughs> stupid man- newspaper uh, about that. <laughs> this film was terrible to the Nazis. Yeah. I want it redressed. But because Sean Bean has been saved, when he wakes up, he basically goes on a massive kill spree. Massive kill spree. Massive kill spree until he gets to the torture chamber yep. where a woman is being assaulted by the... Um, monkey man. The monkey man. Yeah. And then... The woman escapes. And the woman escapes. Somehow. And then Nazi scientist lady ends up in the cage yeah. with the horny monkey man and then... Oh, the irony. There's some justice. (laughs) And then they kind of just watch it happen. (coughs) For another uncomfortably long amount of time. Yeah, they start watching it happen. And that's when my mind started thinking, had they met? Who? Had Sean Sean Bean Bean and and the sexy lady? lady. Sexy Nazi lady. I don't believe so. Yeah, this is my thought. Is I going... So what's going on here? He's basically just like a... And she wasn't wearing an insignia, was she? She was just no, wearing she was a lab coat. Not, yeah, just like a white top. So she so, does, he has no idea so who this person is. So as far as he's is. aware, it's just a woman... It's just a woman, and he's monkey just man. there going, all right. All right. Um, I'm going to watch this for a bit, and then I'm going to shoot the shit out of you. Yeah, and then his buddy double kills them. <laughs> double kills them. <laughs> so mob style. So they don't come back as zombie Nazis. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the <laughs> and then the Nazis start bombing the village. Yeah, and then Sean Bean goes to find his his son who's been killed in a bombing. Yeah, and then just carries the body until he gets killed by a bomb himself, and then it just sort of ends. Yeah, he explodes, cuts a black fin. <laughs> what the fuck was this? What the fuck was it? I have no idea what this I movie was. Zero idea. It is utterly bizarre. It is pure exploitation because like I say it's two films it's it's, it's the resistance versus Nazis kind of war village film and then it's just got this shrocky torture yes really brutality sleazy. just stuck in there like I just I don't know like you say until Shawnee, Shawnee Bean turns up at the uh, monkey man room none of these things have like interacted in the slightest it's literally like there's that bit which is the shocky bit and there's this bit which is the village and the rebels and such like. What I didn't understand, like, the thing I was thinking of the most was most of these, like, Italian exploitation movies from this era are all rip-offs of something. Mm. And a lot of the movies, I'm guessing, on this list are going to be, like, rip-offs of... Yeah. Um, Halloween. They're going to be rip-offs of, uh, you know, like, things like Caligula or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what was the first, like, Nazi exploitation? Was it the Night Porter? We should look that up. 74. Wait, 74? Okay, so... So this, yeah, so that's before this. Yeah, so the Night Porter was like a Nazi... A sexy Nazi movie. So okay, and Ilsa... So, so, so this okay. is like so a rip-off of a rip-off. So there is a precedent for this, at least. 
I'm just trying to work out. It's like in 1977. Yeah. People were like going, "Oh, do you want to go see this movie? It's like a sexy movie with." With Nazis, and it's really not sexy at all. <laughs> really not sexy. And at someone all. went yes to in, to the point <laughs> where, in enough numbers where they could justify making it. So, a question for you: Is the Beast in Heat? Is it Monkey Man? Is it a sexy Nazi lady? Is it the Beast within all of us? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the Beast in Heat? Because um, at the start, I thought, okay, yeah, Monkey it's, Man, it's definitely him. And then it's like, ooh, no, but Nazis. It's fascism, it's, Steve. Uh, yeah, exactly. Fascism is the Beast, it's and me. it's in heat. <laughs> in rural Italy. <laughs> yeah. Like, we've all uh, been, one yeah. time in our oh, lives, absolutely. we've been in yeah. heat in rural Italy. But again, I mean, who is this movie for? Because it's not like, oh, I want to see a war movie. Perverts. Oh, my God. Perverts. Oh, my God, it's a cut this year in it. And it's, it's not like, perverts. oh, I want to see a <laughs> sex, sexy torture movie. It's not that either. Yeah, it's just like... Uh, it's fucking weird. I guess it's for, like, really kinky couples. Like, really? I mean... Or lonely, lonely men. Yeah. Or, um... It's just... Yeah. I kind of don't want to... Th- think about the kind of person <laughs> um, it would be weirder if one of us really enjoyed it <laughs> yeah it would be I think I don't know what that says about us yeah I don't know what <laughs> I'm not sure we could be friends if one of us really enjoyed this so. that said I didn't hate it I didn't uh, no I mean I just I wish it had been half an hour longer I mean it's not terribly but, made either yeah I mean there were flashes of like cheapness and laziness yeah like, the uh, brilliant shot of the swastika where you could clearly see the shadow of the cameraman and the focus puller <laughs> and even though it was like abhorrent it was clearly not real yes it didn't make me like upset like axe no axe did. no absolutely yeah, I, yeah it was really it was just like going oh, okay you were really like going ugh whoever made this is, is like it's just a sleazy yeah a sleazy it's idiot gross yeah and also, there's some either intentional or not some absolute sweet comedy beats in this. Yeah, this is, and I thought the music was pretty good. Like, I, I actually thought that if someone was to reissue the music, that I was thinking it was really good. It was like some really nice string synthesizer action. You know, I have absolutely yeah. no memory of the music in this one. Uh, yeah, I, I, was, I remarked at it. It was like, oh, it's pretty. I don't remember it. I quite like the already. Quite like the music. Right, it's well, been five minutes since we watched it, and yeah. I already don't remember the music at all. All right, should we do the scores? Yes. Right, what would you give the story? <laughs> God. Such as it was. I mean, I guess it's followable. So, one. Okay. I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a two. No, I'm going to give it a one. It's like one. There was a story... Justify your decision. <laughs> you know, it was, I'm going to give it a one because there was a story, mm. though it was confusing, mm. and it was stupid. Yeah, it was... Yeah, complete, fact, actually, completely yeah, nonsense. Like... Well, we'll were, get to that. Were, and there were too many, too many, like stray scenes that were just kind of thrown in. Like the all of a sudden there's a sister. All of a sudden there's a <laughs> there's kid. a sister <laughs> <laughs> who turns up literally an hour and a quarter into the film. Yeah, I'm going to give it a one because it wasn't like it was devoid of story. No, exactly. No, it was like, but it was paper thin. Yes. Okay, for the gore, what would you give it? Zero, because it wasn't. Oh, uh, wow. Well, actually, yeah, I suppose the torture stuff. Because it's one of those when somebody gets shot, there's no blood, there's no squib, there's nothing. Yeah, I'd say one again then, because it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't like gory, gory, but what they did was quite graphic. Yeah, I'm just gonna give it like, a, I mean, the only it bit of like little gore effects long. that I thought was pretty was the fingernail pulling. Yeah, that was pretty gross. Like that was like okay, that um, looked, the rest of it looked like paint. Yeah, oh, very much like paint. So. yeah, very much so. Um, for overall creativity, well, I mean, it's a rip off of a rip off, so it's not exactly creative, is it? I don't remember ever seeing. I don't know why it stuck with me, the electrodes being used that way before. Uh, so I guess that's I'm pretty kind of sure. Creative. I'm pretty sure I saw that in a in a, in a Jess Franco movie. Oh, okay. But I'm thinking, like, as a, as a general thing, I mean, I it's... guess maybe I would give it a point for the for the for the monkey man. Yeah, for the, for <sighs> for the for the, weirdly for the juxtaposing of the war movie and the torture movie. I guess that's kind of creative. But I'm not going to give but it massive it, points. No, no, of course not. Because I don't think the inclusion <laughs> of the Monkey Man is enough. But it's it's a little bit left field. Yeah, it's something different. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So let's go with one. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, for logic, what would That's you a fucking give? zero? It makes no You're sense. You're giving it a zero. Yeah, it makes no um, sense whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, why are they doing characters it? Characters came what? and went. I'm, I'm, I'm totally. This is a rare occasion where we oh, agree. Yeah, right. 
I mean, what what are the experiments even for? What do, yeah, they, like, what do they accomplish? What is the experiment of hanging a man upside down over a tank and then whipping him? What, does, yeah. what do you actually think? Like, the what? effect <laughs> on, of, of gravity on annoyance? Yeah, why do you think rubbing your boobs on somebody and blowing them is going to get you the, the secret cover information he No, gets? if anything, you could probably want to go to sleep afterwards. Yeah. Or just keep it going. It's like, no, I'm still not telling you. <laughs> I'm still not telling you. Oh, I'm still not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> God, Steve. Sorry. <laughs> At least I didn't pull a face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for the music. I, I don't remember it, so I'll have to say zero. I, okay. genuinely, I genuinely do not remember um, it. I'm going to give it a three because there was some sweet synth action in okay. there. I'll take your word for that. Um, okay. Should it have been banned? Hmm. I was thinking about that whilst watching it. If it hadn't have been for the lingering of the torture scenes... I don't think it should have. If it was just kind of torture shots and then they were edited way more judiciously, I don't think it would have been that bad. I think it's the lingering on certain shots is, I think, what got it banned in the first place. As opposed to the actual content, it's the length of the content that they show. I imagine it was the sexualized violence that caused it, yeah. caused, caused the people to ban it. I don't think it should have been banned. I think that's what ratings are for. Yeah, I mean, you put a, an 18 on it, I think it gets passed quite easily. Yeah, I mean, I would. if you really, really need something to, like, stop children from watching this, but I think... I mean, if I'd seen this when I was, like, 10, it probably would have fucked me up. A yeah, bit. yeah like, probably. Uh, but banning, I don't know. Yeah, I, don't I, th- know. I think there was worse things out there at that... I mean, 77. I mean... Th- there was way worse things out there at that point. I just think, like, it's a sleazy piece of trash, mm. but don't ban it. No, I don't think so. And would you recommend it? No. God, no. <laughs> the village stuff was just fucking boring, and the torture stuff was was either kind of like, eh, gross, or, oh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> what the fuck? And not any of that. I, when I think of recommendations, I think, like, if somebody came around, would I put it on? And just like, oh, you should see this. This wouldn't even register, I don't think. I would... I mean, I checked twice to see how much left there was. Uh, yeah. But I would say if you're really going to try and do the DPP list, it's not the worst one on there. No. And so if you want to do it, then, I, um, yeah. But I would not recommend it as a... Date movie? <laughs> <laughs> Or even a <laughs> Netflix and chill with the uh, the beast. Unless in the heat. unless you have a very open minded partner, <laughs> it's not a must see. No, I'm saying if you yeah. well, if you manage to go through your entire life not seeing the beast in heat, yeah, I wouldn't be on your deathbed going. I oh, wish I'd seen that. I wish I'd seen that. Because no, no, there's no need for it. All right, all right. Final score. Okay, that was The Beast in the Heat with a 9 out of 50. <laughs> How does that rank so far? Somehow it scored less than Axe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, even this, though this we rating liked, system clearly even, works. <laughs> even though we liked it more. Yeah. But liked is a, liked is a strange... Yeah, well, it was... Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe it's just because it doesn't produce as strong a reaction. It's just kind of... Eh. Whereas Axe was like, yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, I think yeah. that's a good good way of looking at it. Okay, cool. Moving on. Moving we'll see on. you next time. Bye. Bye.